So I said I wasn't going to work on the car today, but uh, I'm just tidying up the garage right now. Um, it's getting better. Uh, there's less and less parts and stuff lying around, so that's good. But uh, So I was wondering how to install this guy. Um, there's a possibility that you could install this uh, the wrong uh, the wrong position, right? Because it could be like there's two uh, there's two keys on it, right? So you could install it backwards, you know, potential potentially, right? So so I don't know. I couldn't find an, an install guide for this thing anywhere on the internet. Um, maybe I didn't look enough. But uh, so here's uh, the Galant service manual. I even tried to look in the in the damn Dagon Chilton's manual, and it didn't have it either. So here, here's here's the install instructions for a for a 90, 91 Galant Fear Four. Uh, I, I'm assuming that this this is uh, if you're installing it at Top Dead Center. That's what I'm thinking. Install the camshaft. Yeah, this is after you install the cam. So I'm assuming you'd want it at Top Dead Center because you're gonna put the timing belt on anyway. So. But uh, I will let you know if the car runs. So, <laughs> so here we go. Installation of the crankshaft position sensor. So, align the mating mark, punch mark on the housing of the crankshaft position sensor with the mating mark notch in the plate. So here, see, is this punch mark on the housing? That's what they're talking about. And this is the the notch mark on the rotor uh... what did they call it? they didn't call it a rotor, they called it a a plate I, I don't know, it's, it doesn't look like a plate to me, it looks like a rotor to me <laughs> but basically it's got to be like that, so you could potentially install it the wrong way like that, so you want to do that and then install it, I'm assuming that's probably your top dead center close to it anyways so at least that way you can't. There's a there's a 50% chance that uh, that you will install it improperly. So, I mean, yeah, you can play the game where like, hey, uh, you can do trial and error. But um, hey, it doesn't run or it's not running properly. Pull this bad boy out, rotate it, and put it back in. But yeah, so that's how you do it. And then install the crankshaft position sensor to the engine, and then check your ignition timing. But uh, I don't think the car will be ready for that. But but uh, anyway, that's how you do it. So make sure this uh, notch is lined up with this notch or this funny little uh, indentation thing here on the rotor. Let's make sure they're lined up and you're ready to install it. Top dead center. So just make sure your cam's at top dead center and then just put this bad boy in and then just, I guess, try to get it in there as close as possible. So that's for your, um, this, uh, it's called a crankshaft position sensor. This is the one that goes on the intake cam of your uh, Galant VR4, 1G Eclipse, or uh, I think uh, even the some 90, uh, I know 95 and 96 Eclipses, Turbo Eclipses have them also. So that's how to install this bad boy. And uh, yeah, this is the one that goes on the side and you get this. Also, yeah, if you're installing these, uh, make sure uh, make sure you change the, uh, or inspect the O-ring here. Because it can leak from here. This is what keeps it from leaking oil. Mine was leaking, um, so I went and changed it. I used I, I used a, a two, number two seventeen uh, Harbor Freight uh, O ring, and it fit perfectly. And you just put it in and uh, put it in through the studs, and then you tighten it down. Pretty easy. But uh, that's how you set your uh, that's how you set your crankshaft position. Why does it say? Why is it a crankshaft position sensor? It's actually a it's actually a camshaft position sensor but it does nothing to do with the crankshaft it's on the head so I think that's a, a mistake on their part but whatever <laughs> it's a camshaft position sensor hey he's gonna make out